day 22. Three oh. for her, two for me. No, well, can we just do 22? Okay, 22. Doesn't matter. Okay, I don't care. Whichever day you want it to be. Whatever day I want it to be. Friday, Thursday. every day, baby. <laughs> All right, so we're day 22 of our wine Costco advent calendar, and David has his. What the. Um, the spirit, spirit advent, advent calendar, calendar curated by moi. I did pretty well. I'm, I've been doing pretty well. Different stuff. Yeah. What do you have today? Today I have a Saint Germain I'm gonna move over liqueur. <laughs> Saint Germain liqueur, which is, should be pretty interesting. Uh, something different. I haven't tried it before. And I only picked it up because, like, look at yeah, the bottle. It's a nice bottle. I've, oh yeah, that's a nice bottle. That. I'm doing this with a bottle too. I don't think I've ever. I'm gonna pick it up because the bottle looks pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And today I have a Chardonnay, and this Chardonnay is from Spain. It's called Brilla Solar. And Chardonnay is pretty popular in the United States, and most of the Chardonnays, I believe, they're grown in uh, northern part of California, Napa Valley, Sonoma, and so I hope this Spain Chardonnay lives up to my expectations because I, I don't think I've ever had a Spain Chardonnay, and just as and it reminds me of that Bulgaria Riesling that we had a few days ago. It wasn't quite what I expected. It wasn't a Riesling to me. It was more like something else. More, It was more like a, a, a Savvy B rather than a Riesling. So I'm hoping that this Chardonnay from Spain will be actually a Chardonnay. Frosting fingers. All right. So this Chardonnay grape, like I said, grown in Spain, more the inland, <laughs> inland Spain, in this, in the, I think it's in the northern part. And excuse this, the sound, we don't have a soundproof uh, filming studio. Our kid is playing. What is she kids playing? Kids are playing Fortnite. Our, our kids are playing Fortnite. One in the basement and the other in the main room. Oh, but look at this color. It's really goldenish color pretty color oh so immediately in the nose I smell I smell peaches citrusy oh just reminds me of summer I love when that happens okay let me taste I okay yeah So, not quite what I expected. I, I know that Chardonnay is typically ferment, fermented in stainless steel and aged in oak barrels. It tastes pretty oaky to me. Yeah, it's pretty oaky. Um, but in terms of the flavor, citrusy. I don't taste what I smell. <laughs> no peaches. <sighs> tastes more oaky. <laughs> yeah, it's very oaky actually. Yeah, so I mean you can barely taste in this thing. The smell you can smell the thing is still cleaning. Oh sorry, you can smell the cleaning and stuff, but after that, I mean it's very oaky. And there's not a lot of fruits. It's kind of on not, the nose, but not in the taste, like she said. Right. It's. Uh, but you get a lot of the spi spices, I guess you'll say. I don't taste any spices. What spices do you well, taste? Well, the peppers. The, that's the oak stuff you're tasting. That's what it provides uh. you, these peppers and spices and stuff. But it's dry. Very dry. And maybe that's what you mean by oak. Hmm. Maybe. I don't get a lot of complex flavors in this one. I think only because I'm not very sophisticated in my palate, but no, I, I, mean, I know that... You can taste complexity without even having to define it. Just say there's a lot going on. That's there's, complexity. That's right? true. There's not it's a lot much. going on with this one. Well, yeah. <laughs> right? I mean, it's not like you taste a lot of different things. Mm, mm -mm. Right? You taste... Although it does taste better than the first Chardonnay I tasted in day one. I think mm -hmm. that, well, that was a bad bottle. This one is, I've had better, I don't think I would, maybe I'll give Spain another chance. 
I don't know, we'll see. Or I'll stick to the Napa Valley Chardonnays. That tastes more like toasty butter, juicy. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. So once again, I have the Saint Germain, the Saint Germain liqueur, and it's actually a brandy mix um, with, with cognac. But the funny part, this is elder flowers, and um, so it's mixed in here for the flavoring and stuff. But it also goes well with um, so they use wine, like Saint Vanier, and for their wine mix. And it's very interesting. They use a lot of more wine and champagne in this one to kind of make make the mixture. So like with the other one I did yesterday, that liqueur was, you know, they, they soaked the berries and all this stuff for the, um, the blackberry and yeah. raspberry, right? Oh, okay. Into a, a, a blend, right? A liquor blend. But then they took some cognac and mixed yeah. it up. This one, instead of using cognac and stuff of that nature, at least from that perspective, they use champagne and wine to kind of make the mixture as far as soak make the mixture in this one here so it's so it's used for those kind of cocktails too to add to those champagnes and wines and things of that nature to give a little more flavor to it oh, so okay something different I a see. different texture different rig so you know for interesting example, i've never so you can use that to to do your thing to probably put that before i put champagne over the top yeah. or just like okay yeah it's interesting never really dealt with this before so now i can't even open it that's why I opened my bottle before I hit record. <laughs> Not only to let it be. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Oh, berries. Mm -hmm. no. That's that elderflower. Yeah. It's very floral. But it's not like a bunch of different flowers. Just this it one. just reminds me of lychee. Yeah. It smells like more lychee. Lychee like. And you know, white flowers smell like. But that's probably lychee. also the champagne and stuff of that nature in here too. So remember you're not using distill distill from the sense of like cognacs and brandies and stuff. You're using wine and champagne with this one. So it gives you a different different texture. Once again, a probably I'm just gonna do a little bit because I'm not sure how sweet or whatever it's gonna be. But to me it does smell kinda like a little because the Italian one uses Prosecco, and this one they use this champagne. Oh, they have a Italian Saint Germain? Mm -hmm. Or a version. Mm. Oh, a version of. Yeah. Of a similar mix. Mm. Not too bad. Kind of sweet. You can taste the flower in there. Now, if they oh, like from, familiar with the elderflower. Goes on pretty syrupy. But, yeah, kind of syrup. Not as it, it's still kind of thin compared to some of the other syrupy stuff that you may do with these liquors, um, but um, it is kind of whiny to me. It kind of tastes like a wine a little bit, just a little more on the floral and sweet side. It's floral sweet on the first taste, but in the back end, I taste the alcohol. <laughs> Right, but it has a low alcohol. It's only 20%, right? So it's very low on that note. And it's really not designed for that. It's designed to kind of add flavor to your other drinks. Yeah, it adds, yeah, it yeah. ends with cough syrup. Yeah, and it's a little dry. Not too bad. A little dry. I'm thinking we should open a glass of, a, a, a bottle of sparkling just to maybe intensify the flavor a bit. Or use it. Oh, legs. look at the legs. Oh, maybe a more than it said. Cause they said it didn't have much, but look at those of Look at them legs. Look at them legs. Just hanging out up there. But to me, I think it's nice. It's different. It tastes well, and it's a good little addition to your drinks, yeah. particularly if you're trying to add a little more of that, a little lighter flavor to what you're drinking. You know what I mean? Like, I think it'll go good with she has there poured in it. Oh, gee. Okay. Just because this is kind of dry, and this is, doesn't have a whole lot of complexity to it. Should I add more? Wait. Yeah. Okay. Since it doesn't have a lot of complexity to it, so add something to this like that, and they give you some of that. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't do anything. <sighs> Only add a little bit. Nope, don't like it. Didn't don't like this Chardonnay. Oh, gee, okay. I mean, why not, right? I 
This is why I'm going to send you to a mixology class. Why? I, oh, so this, that you can make you can I get some cocktails. I don't do cocktails. <laughs> well, that's why. I don't. But I, I, I oh, okay, okay, I get it. I get it. You'd only go for me. Okay, I get it. No bad. No bad. All right. Right. Okay. Okay. And the last thing I want to do is be standing behind a bar when she have her friends over. Because that's what's going to be. He knows how to make drinks. Why don't you put them behind a the bar? Bye. Bye.